Good morning, and welcome to the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. We pray that you are in good health. We ask that all present please respect the instructions given by our ushers and the guidelines in place to prevent the spread of COVID-19, including using hand sanitizers, maintaining a distance of two meters, and wearing face masks when entering, leaving, or moving within the church. The wearing of masks is optional while seated. At the time of communion, there will be further instructions. At the end of Mass, we ask you to follow the ushers' instructions for leaving the church. Our presider this morning is Father Cecil Critch, and our gathering hymn is number 644 in the Catholic Book of Worship, O God, Our Help in Ages Past, number 644. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, today we ask the Lord to come into our hearts and to forgive us our sins. God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, you who were once estranged and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds, Christ has now reconciled in his fleshly body through death, so as to present you holy and blameless and irreproachable before God, provided that you continue securely established 
and steadfast in the faith, without shifting from the hope promised by the gospel that you heard, which has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven. I, Paul, became a servant of this gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm refrain is, the Lord upholds my life. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. One Sabbath, while Jesus was going through the grain fields, his disciples plucked some heads of grain, rubbed them in their hands, and ate them. But some of the Pharisees said, Why are you doing what is not lawful on the Sabbath? And Jesus answered, Have you not read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? He entered the house of God and took and ate the bread of the presence, which is not lawful for any but the priests to eat, and gave some to his companions. Then Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's first reading, Paul calls 
calls upon the church in Colossae, the Colossians, to stand firm on the solid basis of the faith and not to allow themselves to drift away from the hope promised by the good news that was preached to them. Paul makes a very close association there between faith and hope. Our faith in the Lord is always a hopeful faith. Our faith relationship with the Lord always leaves us hopeful. We respond in faith to the Lord's working in our lives and we look forward in hope to the Lord bringing his work in our lives to completion. Jesus has assured us that nothing need ever come between us and God's love for us. God, through Jesus, wants to enter into a deeply personal relationship with each of us, a life-giving relationship that will endure beyond death. The good news gives us hope, then, even in the darkest moments of our lives. A hopeful faith is a joyful faith. And in today's Gospel reading, Jesus said Jesus and the disciples were hungry, and they were plucking, they were going through the cornfields during the Sabbath, plucking and eating ears of corn because they were hungry as they walked through the cornfield. The Pharisees criticized them for working on the Sabbath. You know, they tried to pick every way possible to criticize them. So the Pharisees criticized them for working on the Sabbath by picking corn. Jesus comes to the defense of disciples, declaring himself to be Lord of the Sabbath and announcing that the disciples' behavior was not in breach of the Lord's law. They were just fulfilling the human need of hunger. They were just fulfilling the human need of hunger, like David did when he and his he was hungry and his and his troops were hungry and they ate the bread, the sacred bread of the temple. So Jesus' response to the Pharisees shows that for him human need takes priority over religious law. Ensuring that people's basic human needs were met was more important to him than the keeping of regulations, even religious ones. Of greater concern to Jesus than religious law was the bringing of people to the fullness of life. Our prayers of intercession today. We pray today for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and our Bishop Peter, and all those who lead and guide our church, we pray to the Lord. We pray for the peace uh, in the Middle East, and particularly we pray for the people of Afghanistan during this difficult time. For them we pray to the Lord. We also pray today in this time of transition in our archdiocese and restructuring, we pray for the gift of the Holy Spirit to make the right decisions in our uh, process. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all the sick recommended to our prayers, those in hospitals, those in health care facilities, seniors' homes, that the healing power of the Holy Spirit may be upon them, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all of our beloved dead in our Mass today. The intentions are for Lorraine Marr, Larry Doey, and Joe Brown. We pray to the Lord. For the prayers in the quiet of your hearts, now your own intention today. We pray to the Lord. And God, our Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear and answer all the prayers we have in our hearts. For we make them in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Wash away our iniquity, O Lord, cleanse us of our sin.
pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest a resurrection. And so, with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. pray with confidence to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And we share that peace of Christ now with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion, a prayer for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, for you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <clears throat> to ensure that the reception of Holy Communion takes place in a safe and respectful manner, we ask that you please follow these instructions. Instead of individually replying Amen upon receiving the host, there will be one general attestation of Amen before distribution begins. Please remain standing in your pew until invited forward by an usher. Ensure your face mask is correctly worn before coming forward and maintain a two meter social distance in the communion line. As you approach the front of the line, sanitize your hands before receiving communion. Bow towards the host. In silence, receive the host in your hands. Step aside to consume the host and return to your pew as directed by ushers. Those unable to receive Holy Communion in the hand may come forward to receive a blessing. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 6.1 in Celebrate in Song, Bread for the World. 
number 6.1. Bread for the world, a world of hunger. Wine for all peoples, people who thirst. May we who eat be bread for others. May we who drink pour out our love. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the bread of life, broken to reach and heal the wounds of human pain. Where we dehyde your people, you are waiting there on bended knee to wash our feet with endless care. Bread for Very exuberant, amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord, eh? Let us pray. If, every, if everybody in the church was as exuberant in their prayers, the kids would be great. <laughs> Let us pray. We have consumed, O oh Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual immemorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Our prayer to Mary for help and protection during the pandemic, which seems to be continuing in our world. We pray for our protection. O oh Mary, you always shine in our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping our faith firm. You, salvation of your people, know what we need, and we are sure you will provide so that as in Cain of Galilee, we may return to join the feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Under your protection we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Just a reminder that tonight, our first uh, Saturday of every month, we will have our adoration night from 7 to 9 tonight. Adoration and music and confessions from 7 to 9 tonight. And uh, following that, uh, we'll close off with benediction at quarter to 9 tonight for anyone who's interested in coming. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of us, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Let us go in peace glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Have a good day. You too, Father. Our missioning hymn is number 6.32 in Celebrate in Song. God, our author and creator, number 6.32. God, our author and creator, in whose life we find our own, make our daily witness greater, by our lives make your love known. Help us show how love embraces those whom fear and greet and trod. In our yearning and our faces, let us see a child of God. Like those first apostles, Savior, give us strength to love and serve. When our fainting spirits waver, fire our hearts and steal our nerve. Teach us wisdom and compassion, bid our restless thoughts be still. 